Okay, so I have now coded the back of my paper and I've gone over all of my lines with the raw umber. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is take my uh, pre-toned panel. So for this, I used, uh, this is my Imprimatura and I used uh, raw sienna and yellow ochre. And I mixed a little bit of turpentine with that to thin it out. Uh, and then I brushed it onto my white panel that had been prepared with um, my ground. And then I took a soft rag and I just kind of worked the, uh, the paint into the panel. So the, the transparency of the pigment, it made the, the tone a little bit lighter. And I'm getting that really um, nice white that's kind of reflecting through that imprimatura. So uh, it's providing a, a fairly light, warm tone, which is going to basically uh, create an undertone for all the colors that I'll be laying on top of this. So this is uh, all dry. I did this uh, a day ago and um, it's earth colors. So they dry pretty quickly, uh, which is nice because I, um, I don't have to wait too long. So I did this yesterday actually, and it's pretty much dry now. Okay, so I've taped my paper down and now I'm going to use a, a black pen because those lines are gonna really show up and I'll be able to see those lines very clearly over top of the blue because uh, it's a different color. So that's really uh, pretty important to me is making sure that I, I use a different color so that I know exactly which lines I've traced over. And I like using the pens because it provides a very uniform line. If I use uh, a pencil, the point's going to dull and it's going to, uh, it's gonna give me different thicknesses of lines. So the pens are nice because it gives me a very clean uniform line. Uh, and you'll notice when I do this, I'm kind of doing it in increments. I'm trying to really press down and, you know, not lift this too much. Um, so if I do lift it, I do obviously need to take breaks every now and then. Um, you know, I'll kind of move to a certain point and then I'll take the pen up and then I'll start right again at that same point with the same amount of pressure. And this should provide a, a fairly clean line. Uh, there may be some little bits of variation, but uh, that's okay. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, uh, but I do want this to be accurate. I really wanna make sure that I, I do take my time with this step because I've spent quite a bit of time in the drawing and I just wanna make sure that, uh, you know, I'm really capturing that drawing accurately. Um, and this will just make it uh, a lot easier when I start painting. It'll be one less thing for me to have to worry about. The drawing, uh, ideally, will be um, already out of the way and I can just focus on applying the paint and working on my, my values first and then my colors. So this is a very methodical process um, and you know, each step is very, very important in this process. And this is how artists uh, like Van Eyck and other Northern Renaissance artists from the uh, 1300s into the 1400s, this is really the method that they used. They would work out their drawings very carefully, spend a lot of time uh, just in the drawing stage, getting that um, as accurate as possible. And then they would transfer that onto their, their painting supports. Um, and then they would proceed to, to create the painting. Okay, so here is the completed transfer. Uh, now I am ready to just start working on the painting. Uh, one thing that I'll sometimes do at this point is just sort of look at uh, my lines and see if there's anywhere where I can clean up a line. Maybe if I got a little bit of a clump of paint uh, in a certain spot um, or 
you know, a line, maybe I, I've drawn over it a couple times and I just, I don't have a, a really clear placement of that line. Um, I can actually just kind of take my kneaded eraser uh, and make sure I have a clean one, relatively clean one. And I can just go in and very kind of gently go back over some of these lines to clean them up. Uh, but for the most part, it's a, a very clean representation of my lines. And I'm ready to now proceed with the painting.